Micah. I'm Micah. I'm Nobu. I'm Chris. We're trying to make it across the country on a bus powered by used cooking oil. We're seeking out backyard innovators who build earth-friendly inventions that work. It's a road trip experiment where anything can happen. We're going to go talk to Bill Cunningham. He's uh, developed this uh, cooling system that, run, that works on evaporation. A substitute for air conditioning? Yeah. We're in Tucson, Arizona, where we've heard about a zero pollution, zero emission way to keep cool in all this heat. Hi, Micah. Micah, Barber. Hey, Hi. I'm Chris. Bill? It looks like you've probably designed your houses to be passively cooled and, and heated by the sun and, and by how they're designed. What have you guys done around staying cool in this climate? I have developed a, an evaporative cooler that um, uses some water and a very small amount of electricity, somewhere between a tenth to a twentieth of the energy that people would normally use to cool their houses. Can we go check out uh, your evaporative cooler and see how it's put Let's together? Let's do it. So this is a solar chiller, is that what you call them? This is a solar chill. Solar chill. Solar chill evaporative cooler. Okay. And this is in its completed form. Would this, how many square feet uh, would this uh, cool? This cools about 1,000 square feet. The evaporative cooling is a, is a fresh air system as opposed to air conditioning, which is a recycled, recirculated system. So this would be mounted on the outside of a building and is taking the hot, dry air, bringing it in and cooling it, and then you open a window on the other side of the building to let the air out. So you have to have that constant flow of air through your building, which is good because you're having cleaner air. Using the surrounding air to evaporate water makes it cooler because the evaporation process takes heat out of the air. We want to build one of these and see it in action. What's the first component of the cooler that we should install? Usually we install a motor. Uh, we have a high efficiency permanent magnet DC motor. This one is uh, made to run at 12 volts. Set it right in, it actually goes back on this side. Oh, like this side? Okay. There you go, okay. So this is a, uh, uses less electricity than a conventional. This uses, yeah, quite a bit less, less electricity. Okay, then we usually put the fan blade in. All the way? And then you push it, pull it out just a little bit. Okay. We're ready to wire up the motor. In a conventional air conditioner, a compressor forces a coolant through pipes that chill the air around it. The solar chill only uses water to cool the air. This motor will drive a fan, which forces air through the unit, evaporating the water, which cools the space. If this is a submersible DC pump, so this is the uh, electronic timer board that controls the pump. It's going to be automatic filling when the float, when the water level rises up, cuts the water off. The pad material, it has arrows for up and airflow. These cellulose baffles maximize the surface area for the water to evaporate. And they've been treated with resin so they won't rot. So the pump is going to pump the water up through the manifold, which is a piece of pipe with holes drilled in it. That's going to drip the water over the, over the pads. There it is. And this can be any kind of water? Yeah, tap water. It's pretty simple. That's it? OK, I think it's ready to run. It's already starting to turn as Martin goes outside. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Now, it needs an indicator at all. Nice. The fan's already right going. Here. Yeah. Right here? <laughs> yeah. All right. Finger. Well, if you shade, like, one thing, it slows down, like, hugely. Yeah. Oh, I see. OK, the water's starting to trickle down. The solar chill uses 80 watts of power, as opposed to a window air conditioner, which uses around 2,000 watts. Yeah, it's getting cooler, much cooler. The sun's hitting the solar panel. And it's making okay. cold air. Yeah. The harder the sun shines, the more cold air you get. Yeah. It'd be awesome to have something like that on the bus. Yeah. Oh, we have a little surprise for you. Yeah, we have a little a little one that uh, you guys can take with you in your vehicle. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. Pretty much the same components. It's going to have a pump and three fans instead of one. We should find a good place for it, maybe with your let's suggestions of where on the bus we should put it. Let's go take a look. Or did you have a spot in mind? Yeah, I was thinking on one of the shelves. You know, we'll bungee it, we'll bungee it around this lip right here. Yeah. So you're like, this action. All right, nice. OK, that can do that. Oh, yeah, that's really secure. It's secure. All right, and then... Shall um, we plug it into our... Yeah. Let's plug it in, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. 
Take it easy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Nice thanks. meeting you. I can drive if you want.